Welcome back to the Rangers Act Show. Today I'm in the hill country of Central Texas. And the locals have told me that dinosaurs used to roam this land. Legend has it that evidence of these dinosaurs can still be found here today. So I'm going out and I'm taking y'all with me. Not only are we gonna be looking for evidence of dinosaurs, but I'm gonna be teaching you all the things that you need to pack and prepare for to have a safe and fun adventure along the way. So come along with me, Ranger Zach. Did you ever wanna know what makes a tree grow tall? A white turtle wears a shell on its back. To get your hiking boots and a walking stick, come along with Ranger Zach. Come along with Ranger Zach. It's the Ranger Zach Show. First things first, you got to make sure that you're wearing the right clothes. So let's start from the ground up with what I have on my feet. What do you think, Junior Rangers? Am I wearing the right shoes to go hiking? No way! I'm going to go put on some nice socks and boots. Now that we got on the right socks and shoes, let's talk about layered clothing. Weather in the backcountry can be a little unpredictable. That's why I always dress in layers. If it gets too hot, I can take this shirt off or roll the sleeves up. Then if it gets cold, I'll just roll those sleeves on down. Don't forget to wear a hat for some protection. I wouldn't be Ranger Zach without my hat. And you want to protect your eyes too. So I always bring my really cool green Ranger Zach shades with me. And before I leave, it's really important to put on sunscreen. Because nothing's worse than a sunburn. Owie! Now, Junior Rangers, when you're going out on your special adventure, it's really important to let somebody know where you're going and when you'll be back. Hi Pearl, I'm at the secret spot and I'm looking for evidence of dinosaurs. I'm taking the Junior Rangers with me. I left you a map at the ranger station. Yes, I'll be home for dinner. Okay, Junior Rangers, I think we're on the right trail to find evidence of dinosaurs. But just remember, when you're headed out on your adventures, it's really important that you bring a map of the area that you're headed to. If you don't have a map, you can bring a fully charged cell phone, but just remember, cell phones may run out of batteries and you may not always have service. That's why a map is a great backup. Wow, Junior Rangers, check out this cave. I wonder if inside this cave is where we can find evidence of dinosaurs. It's pretty dark in there though. That's why when I'm out on the trail, I always bring a flashlight with me. Flashlights are really handy for looking at things in the dark and also if you get stuck out on the trail past sunset.
I don't see any evidence of dinosaurs in here, so I guess we're just gonna have to keep looking. Nothing yet. Have you seen anything that looks like a dinosaur? Whoo! That water is refreshing, but without the right filtration system, you can't drink it. That's why you have to pack all the water that you're going to need for your day trip. Okay, I've been out here for a couple hours, so I'm getting a little hungry. That's why if you're going out for the day, it's really important to eat before you leave and bring a snack with you. Mmm, pretty. Okay, Junior Rangers, we're still looking for evidence of this dinosaur, but I haven't seen anything yet. We're gonna keep looking. Hope we find something. That was really, really close. I wasn't being careful and I really could have hurt myself. But that reminds me, if you're going out on your own adventures, it's really important to bring some tools with you. This includes a first aid kit, a pocket knife or multi-tool if you know how to safely use one, and if you're really in trouble, a safety whistle come in really handy or maybe even save your life if you're stuck out on the trail. Junior Rangers, we did it. We're here, it took a while, but we actually found real life dinosaur tracks left behind in this dried mud. These are the tracks that we've been looking for. They're the tracks of an Athrocanthosaurus, kind of like a T-Rex, but only just a little bit smaller. I can't believe they're preserved this well. Wow, I'm just speechless. You have to take a closer look at this. These tracks were left behind by Acrocanthosaurus, which means high-spined lizard in ancient Greek. At six tons, it was just a little bit smaller than a T-Rex, which makes it an apex predator. It was at the top of the food chain and nothing stood in its way. I wonder if it was hunting prey when it left these tracks behind.
Now, Junior Rangers, Acrocanthosaurus weighed six tons and was 40 feet long. It was a carnivore, which means it ate other dinosaurs. So it had to be really big. To show you just how large this animal was, I'm gonna try to follow exactly in his footsteps. Come on. Here I go. Wow. I really have to stretch out. Its legs must have been huge. Uh, uh. I have to jump to the next one, they're so far apart. Uh. Wow, Acrocanthosaurus had huge legs, much longer than mine. So what do you think, Junior Rangers? Did Acrocanthosaurus find its prey? Or did it go hungry? Now these tracks are huge. Just to give you an idea of how large they are, I'm gonna put my hand right where a dinosaur walked. Check it out. Wow, what a really fun adventure we had today. Thanks a lot for coming along with me. Let's review. When you're headed out on your own adventures, it's really important that you pack the right gear with you. This starts with sun protection, layered clothing, a hat, sunglasses, and sunscreen. Make sure that you pack enough water and snacks for you, and just in case, bring a first aid kit and flashlight. I also like to bring with me a pocket knife or multi-tool if you know how to safely use one, map, cell phone, and safety whistle. And before you go, make sure to tell somebody where you're headed and when you'll be back. Now let's head back to the ranger station. <laughs> hey Junior Rangers, welcome back to the ranger station. I hope you enjoyed checking out those dinosaur tracks as much as I did today. And if you did, give us a like and subscribe to our channel. And remember, if you're going out on a special adventure, make sure to follow the advice that I gave you today. I'll leave the list of what to pack in the description below. Now, to give you a better idea of what Acrocanthosaurus may have looked like, I brought this back to the ranger station with me. Can you now see why its name means high spine blizzard? Check out those teeth. And claws. And of course, these are the feet that left those tracks behind. Could you imagine running into this guy out on the trail? No, thank you. If you're watching this video on the week of its release, head on over to our Instagram page at The Ranger Zach Show, where I'll be giving this dinosaur away. So make sure to check that out. Now let's do the Ranger Roundup. Hi Ranger Zach, my name's Evelyn. My question is, why do birds tweet? Bye. I am so glad that you asked this question, Evelyn. Birds tweet for all kinds of reasons. In fact, they have their very own language. Sometimes birds tweet to warn each other of danger. Sometimes birds tweet to attract a mate. And I think that sometimes birds tweet just for the pure joy of singing. If you want to learn more, check out the book, What the Robin Knows by John Young. I'll leave a link in the description to that too. Now let's do the Junior Ranger Challenge. This week's Junior Ranger Challenge is to go out on a hike, but you have to pack a hiking bag with all the gear that we talked about today. 
Make sure to tag me in a picture of your adventure at the Ranger Zach Show on Instagram for a chance to be featured as one of our Junior Rangers of the Week. And remember, there's a world of adventure right outside your door, so get out there and go explore. This is Ranger Zach, over and out.